Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kitty Loops. All right, so in our last episode, we managed to find the um, the the locked box or chest or whatever for uh, Garibaldi over here, and we returned it to him without having uh, looted it. And I do mean that. Um, Fabrosi was unable to uh, to loot the box or to inspect its contents. So it wasn't for a lack of trying. Um, but one thing I realized is that afterwards, I realize, realize that we probably should have used the spirit vision next to the um, the dead body or whatever, and figured out if maybe there was some spirit out there that could have like helped us out or something. Um, what? Is there someone in the outhouse? Can we talk to you? Um, I guess we can talk to you. <laughs> Um, okay, well, let's ask if she's all right. Do I, oh, do I sound like I'm all right? Uh, I'd say you do. That's what I get. Bloody tainted stew. Um, gently ask what she means. Tainted stew? Makes a little, no, oh, fish into some of my stew. Bloody mackerel must have been tainted. Uh-huh. Save me, Lucian. Oh. Okay, now we can make tainted stew. <laughs> nice. Um, can we maybe feed it to people? Oh, look, we've got some uh, poisonous mushrooms and some nails. Ah, oh, hot damn. And also repair hammer. Holy crap, we've been looking for a repair hammer for quite a long time now. A gold key and some nails. What the shit? How do we not discover this place before? What the crap? Um, wait. The gold key and the nails. I don't know why we have this nail bomb. But, um... Alright, what's in the barrel? And, uh, Peeper, are you just gonna follow me around? Okay, apparently, uh, Peeper thinks that uh, I mean, it's mother. Oh, what's this? What treasure lies beyond? Could it be? Um... Apparently a dead cat. Fantastic. Nenny? Henny? Hey, do you guys want to adopt a peeper? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy? Say that chickens don't know what busy means. Oh, you want a list? Actually, I do. I've got eggs to lay, grass to tidy, grain to clear, and magister boots to peck. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, fine. Get out of here. What about you, Henny? Tall drink at all, Ness. What can I do for you, honey? Admire the sheen of her feathers. Oh, baby, baby. She fluffs them and coos. You're so very, very sweet to notice, honey. Ain't easy keeping him so nice in a dusty town like this. But I do take pride in him. Wonder if she's got any eggs she's willing to give you. Sure, why not? Not all of them hatch, you know. And between you and me, honey, I don't mind the taste of an omelette now and again. Um. Go on and scoop then, honey. That's like the equivalent of a human female eating her own. You know what? Let's not even go there. Pox? The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone, but I'd gladly lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. Uh, what's wrong with him? Tell him he doesn't look so well. Maybe he shouldn't be eating tainted fish. But I need them. So yummy. They taste like shadows and spoiled cream and turn the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur, like being caressed by black cotton. Um, okay, we can offer him void tainted or poisoned fish. Uh, warn him away from eating the void woken fish. The void isn't as pleasant as he thinks. Hmm. I've lived more lives than you've got toes. You've got eight toes, right? <clears throat> so don't go lecturing me. Just give me the shadow fish. Come on, drop him. Um... Okay, well, how many uh, fish do we have? Because I don't want to give him all that we have. Because that seems like a little too much. Poison fish. Void tainted fish. 
You know what? I've got. I think we've got more than enough to a spare. So here, why don't you take three void tainted fish? Maybe. Ugh. I should stick to the good stuff for a while. He pokes his nose at your map, leaving a wet spot. I think you'll find something interesting there. Found me some goodies during life number six. Now, if you don't mind, I need a bit of me time. Um. Can't be good for him. Are you fucking the fish, or uh? Do we help him out, or? Can't be good for him. Um. Nope. I guess that's uh, fish number two. And uh, Pox, are you just gonna bite the bucket now? There he goes. Let's uh, step back a little bit. Well, there. Stopped. It's uh. It's dead. Fantastic, and we got like a lizard's claw out of that. Um. Well, I guess I feel partly responsible, but you know what? He asked for it. He's lived a good, long life. I don't know how long cats live, but he's lived a, a number of years on this planet, and he's now dead as shit. But, um, what do I care? Have we ever talked to Stuart? An Stuart? elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects, so many potential culprits. I need to narrow down the list. Think, you damn elf, think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What? What? Why do you sneak up on me? Don't you know how dangerous that is, the way things are? Um, okay. Ask what he means. Haven't you heard? My own Magister comrades are vanishing from right here in Driftwood. Whoever's behind it must be stopped. If you hear anything, come to me. Um... We've already solved this, man. Declare that the tavern cook was behind the disappearances. The missing Magisters died at her hands. The... the cook? Of course, of course! I had worked it out for myself, naturally. I was just about to present my findings to the Magisters. Well done, stranger. Okay. So it was an elf all this time. Perhaps the Magisters were right to remove my kind from their ranks. The fiend has faced justice. Say that you kill her yourself. The elf's face falls a little. The chase is over, and he remains outside the Magister ranks. And, and did you tell the Magisters? Did you take the credit for solving the disappearances? Ask him what difference, is, uh, difference it makes to him. I was a Magister once. I hope that if I could help them end these disappearances, they might let me join them again. Oh, he wanted to take credit. Well, well uh, not and say the Magisters know everything. I... I was a Magister once. It was my whole life. But elves were banished from the ranks. I had hoped maybe if I could solve this case for them, they'd let me back into the fold. Well, you're gonna have to find something new, man. No matter. Farewell, stranger. It's okay, man. Your job doesn't define you, buddy. Uh, go find something new. Go find a hobby, like, um, murdering a whole bunch of people. I find that usually uh, gets me out of a funk. Alright, well, um, I think we need to go back to the bridge area. And I don't think there's a real easy way to get there via teleportation. And thankfully, it's not that far, but I think I do need to get there in order to, um, I guess, find out if there's like a spirit around there, maybe, that could help us out. Help us um, figure out what's going on. Because I think that's part of the... That is part of the aggressive takeover quest, is what I'm assuming. Because I think the... Um, where is it? Where's... Did we finish the thing in red? Um, I guess we did, right? The red ink in ledger. That's the one that's uh, related to Garvin. I guess the aggressive takeover is related to this. Alright, is there... I knew it. I should have done this ages ago. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Liam? Puss-crusted rat. Cack-sniffing whelp. Where you hiding, daddy's boy? Where you hiding? Whoa, whoa. I'll have you know. I'm more of a mama's boy. The spirit notices his eviscerated corpse, caked in dirt and laced with maggots, and lets out a spine-curling howl. Ask if he is Garvin's mentor, the one who was killed by Voidwoken. Voidwoken? Voidwoken did not eat of my flesh. Voidwoken did not betray me. It were him. 
my boy, my Garvin. Wait, so um, Garvin killed you and then ate your body? I want his head in my hands. I want his head in the dirt, sticky with worms, picked to the bones by buzzards. Bring it to me, bring it to me, head of the dog, Garvin, Garvin. Okay, oh, okay, take it easy there, Tommy. Two time, good grief. Um, ask what came between them that led to the murder. Spoiled like green milk, like a stinking egg. His hands were bigger than his head. He wanted and wanted, but didn't know enough. Never enough. He'll got the business, same as he did me. Rat. Pig. Dog. You feel pity for the tormented soul and offer to help him get his revenge. Yeah, sure. Find him. Feel his heart. Squeeze it dry. Squeeze it dead. Bring the head. Bring the head. Okay, take it easy, Tommy Two Time. Good grief. Guy fucking keeps repeating himself. Ridiculous. All right, fine. I guess we'll go back to. Actually, you know what? Since I'm assuming we have to come back here anyways, we should probably leave one of the teleporter pyramids over here. Losa, thank you very much. And then we'll get back to the Driftwood Square. And I guess we'll talk to old, uh, what's-his-face. Um... Jiz... Jizmail? Gimli? Garibaldi? Gibraltar. Gibraltar, that's him. Uh, Gibraltar? Ah, uh, hello, my friend. I'm so relieved now that my precious cargo has been returned to me. So very, very relieved. Uh, tell him you spoke to someone who knows him. Someone named Neum. Uh, oh, Liam. my poor mentor. Lost to the wilds, I regret to inform you. Take it from me. Avoid the open country around here. The void woken are not to be trifled with. Hmm. Smile and don't reveal what you know. Say you'll take his advice. Alright, sure. Let's not reveal ourselves just yet. Very good. Now, if there's nothing else... Uh, change the subject? Um, I thought we said change the subject. Uh, laugh. He'd blame Void Woken for a murder he committed himself. Well, let's change the subject. Ask him if he's still interested in the house stew. The house stew. Sir, the last taste I had lacked revelation. But I am always willing to keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I have an idea. I know for a fact that one of us is holding out on some house stew that's the meaty stew i believe yes unless we need to get it from someone else i don't think so let's go ahead and make us some tainted stew well 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 wasn't that handy um where is it is it in potions it's not in potions is it, it better fucking not be all right fine i guess we'll have to make it make it manually meaty stew plus Void tainted mackerel. Let's combine and we get an invalid combination. What the fuck? Do we need to buy it from Prudence maybe? Prudence, can you sell me some of your kitchen and a bar to run? Somebody should have taught her a little decor. There, I think this is it. The meaty stew. Um sure. And I guess we'll spend 60 gold on that. Good grief. All right, let's combine the meaty stew now. Um, I don't know what the difference is, honestly. Where is it? Where'd the uh, meaty stew go? Is that it? That's not it, is it? Good grief. Dwarven stew. No, forget the dwarven stew. The meaty stew, that's what I'm talking about. Unless I need to do it through here. No, I don't want the fucking dwarven stew. Okay, I want the fucking meaty stew. Oh, there it is, okay. Plus a void tainted mackerel. And we get tainted stew. Super fantastic. Okay. Uh, Gibraltar? Here you are. Uh, hello, my friend. Stew. The last taste I had lacked. Revelation. Okay, shut up. But I am always willing to keep an open mind. Shut up. Offer him the tainted stew. Tell him this batch is especially worthwhile. I suppose one more bowl won't do us any harm. <laughs> it smells truly divine. And different somehow. Perhaps a special mixture from 
from the house? Perhaps indeed. Garvin tastes the stew, then begins spooning it into his mouth. He sighs with pleasure. Good. His eyes go wide. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Something isn't right. I need to go move. Wait, does he not die from that? Oh, okay, I guess he's Oh, I see. He's going to take a dump. Be grateful that you don't feel the need. Um, how do I now? Go away. Do I? Oh, there he is. Oh, whoa, 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 Garvin, Garvin, no, 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 no! Come on, what the fuck? What was in that stew you gave me? Over here, man. I swear, if I could, uh, if I weren't, ah. Uh. Um, tell me you are here on business. Business from his old mentor. The one he killed. Odds. I haven't the oh, energy for this. You want to know the truth? Uh, sure. The old man was a fraud. Always hinting that he had an amazing stash hidden away somewhere. But you know what I found when I tasted his flesh? Nothing. So, wait, that doesn't give you the right to kill him, though. His intestines threaten you both with a high squeal. You had to push me, didn't you? Uh, yeah. This is gonna be messy. What, are you gonna shed all over us? Please don't. Aw, oh, jeez. Looks like he's gonna shed all over us. Alright, Garvin, you look like a witch hunter from, uh, the Warhammer series, but, um, I'm assuming you're anything but. Can I... maybe use some adrenaline? And then rupture his tendons? Nice. And I guess that's it? Let's have Sibyl get back a little bit. There you go. So that we're not leaving you to the winds. Nice. Good dodge, Sibyl. Holy crap. And that was, I guess, beneficial to 50% of our crew. So, thank you. In the meantime, how about we freeze your dick hole? Just like that. And you made me destroy a perfectly innocent barrel. Son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Can we zap you? I hope this lady in the outhouse is, uh, okay. The poison seems to have engulfed the outhouse as well, so, uh... Could be bad times for her, but, oh well. Alright, for Brosi, let's have you annihilate him with your shield. Atta boy. We got him dead. Fantastic. So we can get his, uh, wooden box again. Can we... Lockpick it? Hey, a battered key. Maybe this is what we need to open it up. Yes, it is. Hot damn. Well, we don't need to keep the wooden box anymore. Let's take his shoes. Uh, you can keep your stupid ass bowl, but we'll take your mug of beer. Sabil, some razzle dazzle, and we'll take Garvin's head, which looks like that of an Uruk now. Um, and look, this woman shed herself so hard she has released poison out into the world. Fantastic. Good grief. Don't step outside, miss. You're gonna die. And I guess that's kind of all your fault. Anyways. Alright, let's go back to... Old, um... Liam. Obviously related to Liam Neeson. Where is his head? Where is his heart? Well, I don't know about his heart, but I have his head. Tell him his apprentice is dead. Rot, take him. Buzzards use him for a latrine. His head... I want to look into his eyes. My boy is dead. My my boy is dead. The snake. Um. Wait, your boy is dead as in like he killed your son or something? Or what are you talking about, man? Hand over Garvin's head. He takes the head in his hands and gazes into its lifeless eyes. He tenderly strokes Garvin's head and a sad smile crosses his lips. Wait, he's a ghost though. How do you touch it? Can ghosts touch stuff? In this world? May maggots bugger you for all time, my dear boy. Ah. Oh. You. Get that map of yours on hand. I've got a little something for you. Garvin took nearly everything from me, but not nearly enough. I'll show you where to look. I feel the pull of the hall. It's my time at last. Gods, I hope I'll meet my boy again. Maybe I'll get to look him in the eye when I take his head from him again and again and again. <laughs> nice. So you got mail armor, um, a wooden staff, elven 
Menalion. Um, great. What is that? A spear? I guess. All right. And an augmentor. Um, let's go with the wooden staff. Honestly, none of those really interest me, but um, I guess we might as well just take the one that's most expensive. All right, man. Well, um, I can tell you right now, your your death is not in vain. Here, how about I just summon that for you out of your disgusting dead ass body? And then I suppose we'll move on to greener pastures. Possibly. So aggressive takeover is done. Um, counting your chickens. I still don't know what to do with this. I'm assuming we have to find it a new mother maybe? Maybe we should go back to the arena. And uh, do some more fighting. Law of the order. Oh right. We need to go back to old, um, old uh, dwarf face McGee. Right? Yeah, I think we need to go... Oh, wait. It's the Under Tavern. That's the place. And then we tell him that we found the... Uh, found Mortis and he's dead as shit and all that crap. And uh, also about the... The... The Death Fog Barrels, I think? Maybe? That must be it. Is it Shadow over Driftwood or is it the other one? I think they're both linked somehow. Alright, so... Um, Marla should be... Oh, uh, that was awkward. Um, sorry guys, I didn't mean to have a uh, bloated, disgusting body follow us around and like, explode in your faces. Loha rubs his forehead beneath his hood and stares at the ground. As you approach, his face hardens and he stands at his full height. I mean, that's not that tall, but sure. So? A report that you met Mortis invested him shows Amulet as proof. Uh, yeah. Lohar takes the amulet and turns it over in his hand. He pockets it matter-of-factly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a pretty awesome amulet. Can I not keep it? What did you find in the cave? Um, tell him what you saw. Dead dwarves, void woken, and a sorcerer gone mad. Avoid details. Tell him Mortis had made a mess of his operation. Say he should send his people, whoever remains of them, to have a look for themselves. He want a full report. Um, tell him, tell him what you saw. Dead. More dead. Yeah, all dead. Very dead. Dead as shit. And Mordus with them. Yep, also dead. I owe ya. Whole realm owes you, really. But I'll do my best to settle that debt myself. Take this key. Nicked it from the Whites. It opens a chest in the Magister Barracks, second floor. Be careful getting at it. If they spot ya, it'll be lights out. Should be some good stuff in there, though. Real good. Mm, remind him he came for information. Ask him what he knows about the sorcerers who may be able to help him help you. Right. Yes. Indeed. Apart from Mordus, I can think of three folks in the area who'd be worth your time. Give me a map. First, a demonologist. My people reported he passed through here not long ago. Avoided the magisters very carefully, that one. I knew a demonologist before. That was an asshole. Jay hands his name. I'll show you where we last saw him. No. No. Please. No. Why? Why is he still alive? Why is he still kicking? No, I thought we were done with that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Really? He's still around? Oh, jeez. I don't know if Fabrosi's gonna remember him. I think Fabrosi's suffering from some form of amnesia, but... Next is an easy one. Well, maybe not easy, but obvious. Riker, master of the old graveyard. Now there's a sorcery you don't want to double-cross. Not far from here, either. Last one I can think of may not be useful. There's an elf called Sahela. Young but powerful. She got carted off to the joy. Her people have been spotted in the area though, and I wouldn't have put it past them to spring her out. Here, look where I've marked. You'll find them. Okay, cool. They worship that girl like she were their flesh munching god himself. And there you have it. I hope one of them can tell you what you need to know. 
All right, well, uh, tell him you found evidence of death fog in the cave. I guess there's no hiding it now. Nope. It's like this. I didn't sign up to move death fog. Other weapons, even soul forged weapons, sure. But death fog? <laughs> Absolutely not. When we found the bomb on a Magister ship, I was told to ship it to Arx along with the rest of the stuff. But I couldn't. Uh, is he a mob boss with a conscience? I didn't want my people to have it any more than theirs. Nothing good can come of Death Fog. Nothing. Mordas disagreed, obviously. But thanks to you, he's dead. Yep, I did it all by myself. I, uh, didn't have a malevolent, invisible ghost spirit crush him into smithereens. Nope, all me. I'll go destroy the Death Fog bomb myself. Make sure no one can get their hands on it. Ever. Same Mortis told you they're already on their way to Arx. In an instant, Lohar goes completely white. No! What have we done? Roar in anger. He knew the Peacemaker was, a sh was to ship the Death Fog this whole time? Promise Lohar you will go to Arx and deal with this bomb. Uh... I don't think there's any need to anger him. Let's uh, let's tell him we'll go and uh, deal with the bomb. I don't deserve your kindness. I should have told you before. I just... No, I've got no excuse. I'm going to do what I can to stop the Queen. I suggest you try the same. Get to Arx. End this before Justinia does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy crap -oly. Uh, Wits, Retribution Initiative. Not bad, but not exactly what we're looking for. And then we have Add Caution. Uh, Finesse. Air Resistance, Poison Resistance. Huntsman? Come on, guys. What is this? Occam's Razor. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Occam's Razor. <laughs> Very cool. This might be the only thing that's kind of worth it. But, I mean, we can still sell this stuff. Now, if only I could check the other people's, uh, gear before I decide. Um, I think Sabeel actually has some pretty decent daggers, so how about we go with Ad Koshal? That way, if we really want to, we can just sell it too. Because this is nice, but I don't think it's completely necessary. So, yeah, let's go with Ad Koshal. There we go. Sabeel, you do have decent daggers, right? Yeah, you got even better shit than uh, what he was offering. I think we uh, did well to pass out, uh, pass on that. Um, kiss of death. Wait, when do we get kiss of death? Uh, Fane, I have a new surprise for you. Here you go, buddy. Kiss of death, and we will ungem that thing, and then I guess no wait, or I guess we'll just do that instead. That works too, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. And then add Koshal, maybe? Finesse? Huntsman? Uh, I mean... No... Bane? Sure, you don't really need strength or retribution. Although I guess retribution is kind of nice, but... You know what, that looks better on you than Alexander's Cloak, which looks... Really fucking bulky on you. Fane, I'd say you should probably try to find some more form-fitting clothes. Not that I'm trying to hit on you or nothing, but, uh... I'd actually prefer Losa to be in, uh, form-fitting clothes, or... Maybe even, uh, no clothes that, uh... Marla? About a dwarf pulls her lips back into a garish open <laughs> I thought she would snap back to normal after having, um, you know... Us killed, uh, Mortis and all that shit. Since Mortis was the one that was in control of her, no? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Right, is there anything to do down here? Powerful Awakening. Did we finish that then? Is it done? Shadow of our Driftwood is unclickable. Oh wait, nope, it's um I that's some weird fucking UI gore there. Fantastic. Um wait, what about what about the other one? Um uh, Law of the Order. Right, so, what do we do with the letter then? Is there something else that we need to do with the letter? Is this... Oh, that's a, a Magister side of things. So, should we reveal, um... 
This to the Magisters, or... Or what? Can we talk to Lohar about the letter? Hey man, I found the letter. What is it? I have a lot on my mind. Ah, there we go. Um... Produce the Dwarven Queen's letter from your pocket. Show him the seal, but hold it out of his reach. What are you doing with that? Hand it over. That's my property. Mmm... Hesitate. Tell him you're not sure you want to part with such a valuable item. You sure you want to do that? You really sure? Uh, notice the malice creeping into his expression and think twice. Hand over the letter. Sure, let's just give it to him. He quickly reads over the letter, as though making sure nothing has changed. Could you bought this to me? I'd hate to think what might have happened to you if you hadn't. Well, I don't really want to hand it over to the Magisters because they're fucking assholes. Ask him what exactly he does in here in Driftwood. Is that it? Um... Oh, okay, there we go. I see. We get a Dwarven Dagger, Dwarven Crossbow, Plate Armor, and Vest of Sorcery. Well, they're all kind of rubbish. Let's just take the Plate Armor. Did I fuck it up by not giving it to him from the very beginning? Should I just have given it to him right off the bat? What the... F Okay. I don't know if maybe we messed up. Maybe I should have just given it to him right off the bat. Maybe he wouldn't have been uh, pissed off with me or something. I don't know. Alright, well, let's take a break here and come back tomorrow. And we will continue our pursuit of something. Oh, right. I think we need to go to Cloisterwood or whatever and uh, get some black root. Yeah, we'll finally get around to that. Possibly. No guarantees. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.